today I just got back from Shepherdstown I was over there to dance oh my lord my lord I, whew, I, I, I don't like going to dentist you know I, and I told him I said I'm, you know what I, I don't know what's worse I you know having a tooth pull or having a baby and he said well let me know you know so I can adjust the chair <laughs> I said, no, that's just an old saying. Man, I got good news, and I got, I'll tell you about the dentist after my good news. Oh, my goodness. That pelvis, that man, that, I love that man. I'm falling in love with that man. You know what that boy did? You know what he's doing? He didn't, he, he, he co-signed for my trailer, so that, that that's in the works, you know. I'm, but it's clear. But you know what he did? That man hired a crew of men to come down here and they're painting my house and they're putting a porch on it and they're doing the whole interior. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be living in a, a honky chateau, baby, down here in Pigs Butt, Tennessee. I mean, a single wide delight. Oh, my Lord. That man, I love that man. Oh, God. Anyhow, and that, so we'll, we'll be seeing that. I got my dogs in the house with me right now, so... Anyhow, they, they're going to get out of this small area and so they can roam around and have a, the room to themselves and everything. I'm pleased as punch about that. But anyhow, let me get to, oh, man, going to Shepherdstown to the dentist, you know. Oh, old, old Eunice here, I got more bridges in my mouth than they do in Madison County. I tell you, I don't know if you ever seen that movie or read the book, but oh, my Lord, that was a, oof. That was a crotch tickler to me. I don't know what happened to you. But anyway, yeah. so anyhow, he told me, he said, no, oh, Eunice, I got, you might, you might in the next couple of years or so think about getting dentures. And I went, oh, sweet Jesus, no. He said, well, what's wrong? I said, I've heard nothing but bad things about them, about people painting and, and everything else from them. The, 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 I know, I and they slip and they come out. Well, I don't know. He goes, well, Eunice, you're going to have to make a choice because, as they say in the medical field, things are going south, baby. <laughs> I said, I never heard a doctor or a dentist say that before. He said, well, you heard it from me now. They're going definitely south, baby. I said, oh, my God, dentures. Oh, my Lord, and I can hear the jokes now. Eunice, if your top of your head was flat, <laughs> you'd be the perfect woman. <laughs> There's a place to put my beer. I heard that joke one time. I'm going off on him. I'm telling you that right now. Anyhow, I said, I don't know. I don't know. He said, do you know old man Perkins? And I said, yeah, I know old man Perkins. He lives right here in Shepherdstown. He goes, go down and talk to him. I fitted him for dentures about a year ago now. And go talk to him and see see what he feels about him and you know, talk it over with him. Tell him that I recommended him for you, and see what he has to say. I said, "Well, okay, I, I can, I, I'll do that." So I did. I got in my car and I drove down there, and he lives down there in the center of town. And, and I, and I, I parked my car and I walk up, and he was sitting on the front porch. You know, a lot of people down here do that. You know, that, that's a, sort of like a neighborhood watch, <laughs> antique neighborhood watch. Anyhow, he's sitting up there. And I said, good day, Mr. Perkins. And he goes, oh, Eunice, Utah. I haven't seen you in a coon's age. I said, I know, sir, and I apologize for not coming by and saying hi to you more often. He said, well, Eunice, that's okay. What, 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 what you need, girl? I said, well, I was just over to the dentist, and he told me I may have to have dentures. And I told him, oh, my Lord, I heard some bad things about those. And he told me to come down here and talk to you and see how you like yours. He said he fitted you about a year ago. And he goes, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And I said, well, how, how are they for you? And he goes, well, Eunice, you know, about six months ago, Eunice, I, I, my grandson came by and, and uh, I took him down to get a haircut, you know, just down the road here a piece. And, you know, we went in and both of us got our hair cut and, 
We walked out there, you know, he was just 10 years old. And I said to him, you know, Stanley, let's go across the street and get us an ice cream cone. That's, that's not nice of him, Mr. Perkins. He goes, yeah. Well, we were walking across that street, and I heard this rumbling. And I looked up, and near this here come a truck I, like a bat out of hell. And I pushed my grandson out of the way. You know, that truck hit me, Eunice, and it drugged me for a block and a half down the road. When I rolled out from underneath that, I looked like something you picked up at the pizza parlor over there. I mean, I looked like a cheese delight, baby. I had more sauce on me. I'm like, oh, my. I said, well, Mr. Perkins, I am surely sorry about all that. I said, but I asked you about your dentures. I, you know, I'll ask you if you, those dentures hurt. He said, well, I'm getting to that, Eunice. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. I said, well, okay. He said, Eunice, I'm telling you, straight up, this is God's honest truth. The only time that these teeth haven't hurt me was the time I was under that truck for that block and a half. That's the only time I can remember not having pain in my mouth. I said, well, that sort of answered my question right there, Mr. Perkins. I appreciate it. I'm sorry about your action and all. He goes, ah, it's okay. I healed up. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Now, listen, you, unless you got anything else, I got to go. You know I'm, they, 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 You know how it is with all those old men. I'm, I said, I know, Mr. Perkins. You go in there and do what you got to do. He said, ah. So I left and I come home and here I am. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I shouldn't be bothering you with all this anyhow. Listen, I just want to stop by and say hi to you and let you know that next time you see me, I'm going to take you on a tour of my house. And then I'm going to show you my kitchen. I'm just in love with this kitchen. You should see what they did at the cabinets in there. Oh, my Lord, I I got a pantry. I got everything. I'm going to show you how to sit. I'm going to cook for you. I'm going to show you some of my favorite meals, you know. So anyhow, I, I may be gumming up next time you see me. I may be talking like this, but I doubt it. I doubt it very much. And anyhow, he said, I got a couple of years left on these bridges here, you know. Depending how she put a toll on those bridges. Anyhow. You take care of yourself out there, you know, be safe, and, and stay healthy, you know, all right? Take care of it. This is Eunice Utah from Pigsburg, Tennessee, saying bye-bye, y'all.